This is Bart Coppens with a book recommendation. Today I am going to show you an awesome book that in my opinion everybody needs to read. But first some background on information. My name is Bart Coppens and I have a lot of expertise when it comes to moths. Oops, it's not socially acceptable to compliment yourself because it, because it comes off as arrogant. It's true, I am not a top-level scientist, but I am a published Lepidopterist and somebody who is perhaps the most well-known person on social media right now that represents the study and representation of the study of these animals right now online. And a lot of people always ask me, Bart, how do you know all the things you know? Where have you learned all of this? Well, let me tell you people, a common mistake that people nowadays make is to search for information online. The internet is amazing. You can find almost everything you want at your fingertips on Google. But entomology is one exception. The world of entomology is outdated because the internet has not yet adapted to the new widespread sourcing of information online. Most scientific knowledge about insects is still in books. This book is one of the best books when it comes to the genus Samia, a revision of the silk moth genus Samia. It's a scientific work pertaining to the moths that I have here on my hat. Yes, these are some Samia ricini, which are domesticated insects and silk moths that are raised in captivity for sericulture, aka the production of silk. In fact, this very hat that they are sitting on right now, let me gently take these dudes off. This very hat right here, oh, my hair looks really nice now. This hat is made of the same silk of these animals. This hat is made of airy silk. I even have some yarn here. It's a very high quality commercial grade silk. Samia moths are highly fascinating. One of the few domesticated animals that humans have bred for hundreds of years for the production of silk in places like India and other parts of Indochina by origin. And if you want to study these insects and want to have more expertise of them, today I show you one of the most prominent works that you need to buy and read. Just before the review, let me show you here, for example, some of the contents. It contains pictures of all the caterpillars, but also all the species of Samia, or at least most of them, that have been described today in the current taxonomical system. And the funny thing is, there is no website on the internet, there are zero websites on the internet that have this information for you. If you want to become an expert on moths, if you want to learn more about Saturnidae, the genus Samia, then you have to read. People make the big, big, big mistake of searching for everything online. Wrong. If you try to learn everything online, you are not going to have the expertise you need to find a job with butterflies and moths. Ignore the doorbell for a second, but look at that. A revision of the silk moth genus Samia, published by Richard Peigler and Stefan Naumann in 2003, is a massive recommendation if you have the scientific interest in the silk moth genus Samia.
and is one of the most comprehensive revisions of this genus, accurate up to the year 2003. One feature that I really liked is that it has color plates of the type specimens of many Samia species, making it convenient to identify them. It's also a great way to familiarize yourself with the numerous species of Samia that exist on our planet, which is very helpful to both beginners and experts. Not only that, a wide selection of caterpillars is also being included. Not only is this book helpful when it comes to identifying several species of Samia as adults, but also as larvae, which is harder to do, as there are fewer resources for larval identification. Of course, at its core and essence, the book is a taxonomic work. Taxonomic revisions include many papers in which new arrangements, shifts in the rank of position and some of the included taxa are proposed. In a generic or family revision, complete descriptions are usually given for every species, whether or not they have been described before, something which this book all does with all described species of Samia up to 2003. It also offers the geographical distribution, a diagnosis for identification, and an, in, um, and an including a list of some of the examined specimens. Also rather fascinating is the inclusion of information when it comes to certain textiles composed of eri silk and their origins. Historical samples of Samia silk and on top of that also included are the genital plates of male and female Samia. For those unaware, the morphology of the genitalia is an important tool that Lepidopterists use to accurately identify species. Also included are additional notes on the host plants that are commonly used to raise these species, and some allied genera. Overall, it is a wonderful little book that I would recommend for both beginners and experts. In total, it covers 19 different species of Samia. Obviously, the taxonomic revision is going to help any researcher looking to publish when it comes to species in the genus Samia, but the color plates the distributions and the faunistics of all other species included are helpful to any beginner as well. It contains lists of host plants along with distributions, which is massively useful for aspiring breeders as well. Highly recommended for any enthusiast that likes silk moths. This was Bart Coppens with another episode of Let's Read Together, my online web series where I recommend or review interesting books. Follow my channel and subscribe for more book recommendations. Bye bye, moth fans. If you want to buy this book, I will try to put a link, perhaps in the comments or the description of my video, so you can buy the book as well from the same source where uh, I bought it. So perhaps you have the same version, the same language as my version, of course. Uh, it also saves you some time trying to search the internet for places where you can buy this very particular book. But uh, this is one of the uh, biggest tips I can give you right now. If you are interested in these insects and want to learn more, this is one of the best, it is the best work right now that you should read. I don't expect this series to get millions of views because it's such a peculiar thing. But that's the great thing about it. It's easy to find reviews of popular books, but I'm one of the few people who showcase things like this. Now if you like this concept, please consider liking this video, subscribing to my channel, and consider joining my crowdfunding platform, Patreon. Because for some reason, YouTube has decided to demonetize my channel. So I am dependent on crowdfunding for 100% in order to support this channel and upgrade the production quality. If I got 1 million subscribers tomorrow, it wouldn't make a difference for me. What counts is the people that support me. Thanks for watching and I hope to see you next episode.